Chinese car manufacturer Dong Feng says it has a bunch of new EVs coming out. It's going to be mass producing them with a new solid state battery, but it's not a lithium battery. It's made using a new technology, sodium. This is the world's first sodium solid state battery. It's going to be very, very affordable, last potentially almost forever. And you can buy one pretty soon. That is, if you live in China. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Solid state batteries. Holy grail of batteries. Still nothing really there. There's quite a few different semi-solid state batteries. Nothing fully solid state yet. Until now, that is. Dongfeng say that within months, you can purchase one of their sodium solid state batteries and they're going to be quite affordable this new battery technology is surprisingly affordable especially considering the fact that it's its first generation technology the fact that it's made with sodium does help to reduce the costs now what do we know about this battery what cars will it be in is it really legit or are these just some bogus claims from a chinese car company well i have an answer for that but just a second, Dongfeng is a Chinese automaker who are known for having lots of different car brands. They actually own the brands Forthing, Fukang, Fengon, Aerolus, and M Hero. Now, this car company has launched one more brand called Nami, according to carnewschina.com, who say that it will manufacture small electric cars with sodium solid state batteries have an annual sales goal of 400,000. Now, like I said, this is the world's first EV with a solid state battery, but it also just happens to be sodium. I don't think anyone would have guessed that that would have happened. However, we'll have to wait and see if this really does happen. Dongfeng have said it is focusing on the affordable small EV market. So this will be an affordable car. Who, who would have thought that we'd see the first solid state batteries in the world that would be actually affordable? Apparently, they will be. Now, this is the car that you can see in the pictures that will come with a sodium solid state battery. This is what it will look like. Um, apparently, it's copycat in terms of design compared to some other cars, but I don't know. I can't really see that. I don't really care either, to be honest. It's got 17 inch wheels, you know, relatively practical size wheels. It's got about a 12 inch touch screen. All that stuff I don't think you really care about, though. What the main thing is here is is this car legit? Well, we don't know yet, but we do know it's got a 163 horsepower motor in the front of the car. And Dongfeng say that the NAMI will be able to charge 200 kilometers of range in eight minutes. So adding 200 kilometers of range in eight minutes is it's pretty good. I mean, this is not the kind of revolutionary step up that we expected from solid state, but I'd be happy with that. I mean, 200 kilometers in eight minutes, I'd be more than happy with that, in fact. In addition to that, it will have vehicle to load. And Dongfeng actually also have right now for sale another car with a solid state battery. Well, actually, it's not technically a solid state battery. It's a liquid metal semi solid state battery. And that car you can buy today. Now, this car, when will you be able to buy it? Apparently, you'll be able to buy it next year, probably the first quarter of next year, the company seemed to be suggesting. What is the energy density? This is the most important part, in my opinion. It's 157 watts per kilo. Not particularly high. For sodium, that's a really good number. That's probably industry leading. That's in comparison to the existing sodium batteries. Now, this is, of course, different to all those batteries because they're, none of them are solid state. This is the first solid state battery made using sodium as well. 157 watts per kilo. It's less than a lithium ion phosphate battery pack now from the major manufacturers. But the key here is though, that it does have some pretty big benefits. One of those, it's not gonna set itself on fire no matter what you do to it. If this car, if this vehicle's in a crash, um, if it gets pierced, if it gets hit, it's simply not going to burn. That's one major advantage. Now some of the other advantages include, of course, that fast charging speed. It's affordable and it will also be a fair bit lighter than current battery packs, which use liquid electrolytes and that liquid electrolyte makes it, makes it in general heavier. What else do we know? Well, apparently the battery pack 
will be using a, basically a structural piece. So it'll be a part of the car, a lot like Tesla does with their structural battery packs. It's almost exactly the same thing. So that's another thing that will help reduce the weight of this car and give it more range. Now, apparently the company say that it will also have efficiency of around 86% and a longer extended service life. Now, we don't know if that means a million kilometers, a million miles. We have no idea at this point in time. But remember, there's one other advantage to sodium ion batteries. They're not really affected by heat very much. So they work really well in cold temperatures. This could be a big advantage. I mean, if you lived in, say, Alaska, somewhere really, really cold, somewhere where you get a lot of snowstorms or you know, on the top of a mountain, this would be the perfect battery pack for you potentially. Can you get one right now? No. Will you be able to within a few years? I would say yes. Give it about five years, and I think sodium ion batteries will become extremely popular, but possibly even more so hybrid lithium and sodium batteries, which have the best of both worlds. I've talked about those battery packs a few times on the channel. Stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll have more coming about those batteries. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.